Get ready for an amazing trip through space as we look through the powerful James Webb Space Telescope. We will see bright stars, mysterious galaxies, and cloudy wonders in space. Each picture shows us a little bit of how amazing the universe is. Each picture also tells a story of how space has changed over time. Are you excited? Let's start exploring. First, let's look at a beautiful picture that shows a really far part of space. This picture was taken by the James Webb Space Telescope, which belongs to NASA. The picture shows a really small part of the sky from a place called Good South. Good stands for Great Observatories Origins Deep Survey South. Did you know that Hubble Space Telescope and other telescopes have been looking at this area too? This little picture has a whopping 45,000 galaxies. A galaxy is like a big group of stars, and each one is different. There's a special program called James Webb Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, or JADES for short. That helps us explore these galaxies. What does JADES do? With this picture and other information, JADES has shown us galaxies that were formed when the universe was very, very young, less than 600 million years old. It's like looking way back in time. There are also way more galaxies than we thought there would be before the James Webb Space Telescope was launched. JADES has also found galaxies from a cool time in space history called the Epoch of Ryanization. Imagine this time as a big scene in a movie where the universe changes from being foggy to clear. This happened because a lot of new big, hot stars were born. Also, the colors in the picture, blue, green, and red, are not just for fun. They show data from the telescope's camera at different tiny measurements of light. Blue shows data from really, really small measurements, green from slightly bigger, and red from even bigger. This helps scientists understand the picture better. Next, let's take a trip to Mars with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope. The pictures show sunlight and shadows on Mars, and also some light that we can't see with our eyes. The pictures show the history of Mars like a big story. We can see craters, mountains, and valleys that were made by big space rocks, volcanoes, and erosion over a really long time. But that's not all, the pictures also show that Mars might have had water. The telescope sees special rocks that only form with water. This means that water might have flowed on Mars a long time ago. As we look at these amazing pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope, we are like space explorers. We learn about the history of Mars, how it has changed, and hints that there was water there. Each picture is like a clue that helps us learn more about the universe. Lastly, imagine going on an adventure deep into space where we see cool things in every direction. We're going to the Carina Nebula, which is also called NGC 3372. It's like a big space cloud with lots of stars and other space stuff. So get ready to learn and explore as we look through the powerful lens of the James Webb Space Telescope. Inside this star-filled area, the James Webb Space Telescope lets us peek at a mysterious structure called the Keyhole Nebula. As we get closer, we see a big round shape that is part of the Keyhole Nebula. The name Keyhole was given in the 1800s by Sir John Herschel because it looks like a keyhole. This part of space is really far, about 8,000 light years away, which is a super huge distance that's hard to imagine. Near this area is a star called Eta Carinae that shines really bright and changes a lot. The Carina Nebula, where the keyhole is, is also a place where new stars are born. Some of these stars are super big and hot, think of our sun, but 10 times hotter and 100 times bigger. By exploring the Carina Nebula and the keyhole, we are like detectives finding out secrets about space and being amazed by the huge and wonderful universe. There's so much more to find out. Now, let's go to a galaxy called NGC 1365. This is a spiral-shaped galaxy that is 60 million light-years away, which is really, really far. The James Webb Space Telescope took a clear picture of this galaxy. It's in a group of stars called Fornax, which means the furnace. The picture has swirls of blue and orange colors, showing us where new stars are being born. And where there are areas that might have new stars in the future. On the edges of the picture, we can see areas where lots of new stars are forming. These stars are made from gas and dust coming together. The picture is part of a project called the FANG Survey which is trying to help scientists learn about different types of galaxies close to us. 
The project wants to take pictures of over 100,000 gas clouds and areas where stars are being born in galaxies besides our own, the Milky Way. Next, imagine sailing through space to the Orion Nebula. This awesome trip is possible because of two powerful telescopes that can see infrared light, the Hawkeye. That is part of a very large telescope in Chile, and the James Webb Space Telescope. The Orion Nebula, also known as M42, is a famous space cloud where lots of stars are being born. But with these telescopes, we can see even more than ever before. Inside the nebula. It's like a busy city of creation with lots of faint objects that look like planets. These could be baby planets or maybe stars that didn't get big enough. These little objects are all over the nebula, surrounded by dust and gas. We're seeing how stars and planets are born and change. This is like a special ticket to see a show of how space is always creating and changing. We're like space explorers learning new things. Isn't it cool that every time we see a new picture or get new information, there's always more to learn about the universe? The universe is like a big mystery book that keeps getting new pages. Finally, let's look at the Orion Nebula again but in a different way, with infrared light. This is possible thanks to the Vista Infrared Survey Telescope in Chile and the James Webb Space Telescope. The Orion Nebula is about 1,350 light years away from Earth and is a beautiful part of space. Together, these telescopes show us the Orion Nebula like never before. Infrared light lets us see things we can't with just our eyes. So, as we look at these pictures and learn new things. Remember we are like detectives in space, always finding new clues and solving mysteries. The next part of this cosmic journey takes us to an awe-inspiring view of the Orion Nebula through the Vista Telescope. The telescope's giant field of view can capture the whole nebula and its surroundings in one shot. What's more fascinating is that it has infrared abilities like cosmic X-ray vision, allowing it to see beyond the nebula's dust. This unveils the young stars inside the nebula, which are usually hidden. The picture you're seeing is actually a combination of images taken with different filters in the infrared range. In this picture, you're almost traveling through an area of the sky that's approximately 1 degree by 1.5 degrees in size. You're not just looking at this picture, you're exploring the Orion Nebula's depths and discovering young stars dancing inside it. Next, let's feast our eyes on NGC 1275. It is an incredible celestial object with delicate filamentary structures that look like reddish lace surrounding a bright central galaxy. Even though the surrounding gas is heated to 55 million degrees Celsius, the filaments stay cool. This is because of the magnetic fields holding them up and energy from the central black hole helping maintain their structure. Studying these filaments has allowed astronomers to understand more about extragalactic magnetic fields and how they've kept these filaments together for over a hundred million years despite gravitational forces and the surrounding cluster's volatility. Now let's gaze into the barred spiral galaxy NGC 1300. The James Webb Space Telescope shows us this galaxy in breathtaking detail. With glowing stars, gas, and clouds of interstellar dust. NGC 1300 is considered the perfect example of barred spiral galaxies. Unlike regular spiral galaxies, whose arms wind all the way to the center, barred spirals have a straight bar of stars with the arms attached to the ends of this bar. This bar is at the very center of the galaxy. As you look at NGC 1300, you are an explorer seeing the different kinds of structures galaxies can have. Lastly, let's take a look at NGC 4522, a spiral galaxy undergoing a dramatic transformation due to a process known as ram pressure stripping. This is where the fast motion of a galaxy within a cluster causes cosmic winds to push against it, stripping the galaxy of its gas, which is essential for making new stars. NGC 4522 is in the Virgo galaxy cluster, and as it moves swiftly within this cluster, the strong cosmic winds are pushing its gas out, leaving it behind as the galaxy keeps moving through space. All these cosmic wonders remind us of the endless mysteries the universe holds. The celestial dance of stars, galaxies, and cosmic forces is an intricate ballet awaiting our discovery and admiration. Through advanced telescopes, we can unravel the universe's secrets and marvel at its beauty. 3621 displays a variety of remarkable features. 
Being a pure disk galaxy, it lacks the central bulge common to most spiral galaxies. This central bulge is typically a dense, spheroidal concentration of ancient stars. However, NGC 3621 is composed of a flat disk containing dark clouds of cosmic dust. From these clouds emerge spiraling arms dotted with blue specks that signify star-forming clusters. While there's a noticeable brightening towards its center. The absence of a central bulge makes it distinct from other spiral galaxies such as NGC 6744. Thanks for watching till end and please subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos.